All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Today for week 19 on our task card, we have the pomegranate foot massage manipulation. So we're going to take care of that today. All right, so what you're going to be needing for today um, in your kit, you have for the rest of the pomegranate line, you have your pomegranate oil, okay? So you need that. One thing I want to just note, the pomegranate scrub dried out really bad, so you can just throw that away. We're not going to be using that. If it's still good for you, then you can scrub your hands with it. It smells really nice, but we won't be using that in class, okay? You need your markers, okay? You need your scissors, glue. I would recommend you do the compare and contrast circle with a pencil if you don't have something to trace uh, to make your diagram. Okay, um, if you want to freehand it, that's, you know, with your markers, that's not a problem. That's just perfect. Okay, of course, you need your, your journal, and then you're going to need these two um, technique uh, pages. So technique A is the foot massage manipulations. That has the two pages. Okay, um, it was front and back, so I split it into two. That's why it's, uh, it's so spread out. That's why it's in two pages. And then technique B is the one with the circles on it, okay? So technique A has the squares, technique B has the circles, okay? So those are the two pages. So what you're going to do today is you are going to, and obviously you're going to do this on yourself, okay? So if you're at home and if you have somebody that you can work on, if you can find a model at home, then you can do this on them. And then you can ask them which one of the two, technique A or technique B, um, did they like the best? And you can choose that by their opinion. If you're doing it on yourself, then try both techniques and then you choose which one you like the best, okay, to complete today's assignment. So you're going to take your oil, okay? You're going to, of course, set up your station, wash your hands, get all everything ready. You're going to take the oil. You're going to perform the first technique. So, uh, or the first massage steps, technique A. So then you start at the top, you can go read through it, work all your way down to the last one, okay? And then you take a little bit more oil and you do take oil as you go, how much ever you need, and then do technique B, okay? Your technique B, of course, well, it's kind of off a little bit, so it starts down here with the number one, and then two, and all the way down to eight, okay? When you do, you can do one on one foot and the other one on the other foot, or you can do both feet with A, both feet with B, totally up to you, okay? Just watch your time so you have plenty of time to finish. All right, so after you do both, okay, and then you want to decide if you're doing it on yourself, which one did you like the best? Which one felt better? Which one felt like it flowed better, okay? Which one had more more techniques in it so it was a little bit longer maybe the client enjoyed it a little bit more if it's somebody that you're doing it at home you can ask them hey which of the two did you like and why so let's say that they chose and i just for easy i just chose the technique b okay so this uh are the next of our um after our uh Saramar technique or after our hand technique um, on the next page is we're going to write the better one is and it's technique B. For me personally, I liked this one better. And so I'm going to glue this one here on this page. Okay. If for you technique A is better, although I know it's on two pages, you have to cut and squeeze it on the page, then glue technique here, A, B, um, then glue technique A on this page instead of technique B. Okay, and you want to write down which technique it is. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to compare and contrast technique A that has this square, the rectangle or squares. What is that compared and contrast to technique B, which is here? Okay, you're going to draw your two circles. What do they have that's different from each other, and what do they have that's the same? And kind of to justify why you chose that. Now, if you're working at someone at home, then you can have ask them questions as if you were speaking to your client. And if you're doing this uh, during salon dance service, what is their input? What did they like between the two or what did they not like or what was different or what was the same? Okay, 
So again, you're going to do both techniques on you. Technique A with the rectangles, technique B with the um, circles. I guess they're right. I said square. These are rectangles. They're ovals. Okay. So do both. Pick which one you like the best. You're going to glue the one that you like the best on the right hand side of the page. Okay. Label it with your technique uh, letter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to then compare and contrast the two of what is the same and what is different. All right, so these are the two. So when you're done, you're going to take your picture of your notes and then you need to take a picture of doing one of the uh, massage techniques on either yourself or on someone at home. Okay, if you're, if you're at home. Okay, and that is all that we have for you uh, for this particular assignment. If you have any questions, please let me know.